YouTube so today I'm going to be doing a review of the Kai Shadow palette by Kylie um, Cosmetics it is the bronze palette it is really really pretty but it's really really small um, I'm just going to do a demo and review this is the first time I have used this palette so it is like raw review like I don't know what if I like it or not but I do want to tell you a wee story a quick story about um, their customer services um, well, take you back to the start. So I had to pay customs. So I had to pay, let me see, fifteen pound customs on this palette after already paying forty two dollars um for this tiny palette. And as you can tell, it is quite small. So um, yeah, quite expensive for by the end of me. It came in the Kylie box with it all packaged up and the receipt for it um, all the stuff like that so um, that was all good and then I opened the palette so it comes in this box with the rose gold around the, the bottom of it um, very very nice I was really excited to open it you get your blinking card um, and it says on the back of it I couldn't wait to share my new eyeshadows with you I hope you adore them as much as I do I love you and all the eyes are written like E Y E, so like a kind of a play on words. Whatever. Really, really thought this was a cool wee card. Opened up the palette, and I have now used this to do this look. But on this bottom shadow there, there was a chip out of it. I will insert a photo here. There is a chip out of the shadow. So I was a wee bit annoyed because I don't know if this chip was to do with like the packaging chipped it or. If it was somebody's fingernail, who knows? I don't I don't know what condition that they are shipped in, what way they're packaged up, so I didn't know. So I did message um Kylie Cosmetics Customer Services and this is where I get disappointed. I sent them a picture, I sent them my order number, and I sent them uh, a wee message, you know, explaining that I just got the box, just opened it, and there's a chip out of one of the eyeshadows. I'm extremely disappointed as I did have to pay all that money I had to pay for the palette itself, international shipping, and then I had to pay customs. So it did actually end up quite a lot of money because the international shipping was like £15, which again is quite a lot of money. So I got a reply basically along the lines of, oh, so sorry to hear that. If you want, you, as in me, can pay to ship the palette, the broken palette, back to America. So for me to pay international shipping, and the words that they used were, they will give me a one-time complimentary replacement as if they were doing me a favour. At the end of the day, they sent me a broken palette, so they should be the ones to replace the palette. I should not have to pay for it. So I was really annoyed. I was saying, I told them basically that I wasn't impressed with their customer services. Because at the end of the day, if I won paid international shipping, that would be like another 15 or £16. Pound. Two, if they did send me another palette, um, once my once my palette is received, and I, it will take ten days after my palette is received to send me out another palette. This was all in the email. Um, if I if I came to Northern Ireland and I got more customs, that's another fifteen or sixteen pound. So that's another thirty pound just to get a palette that they sent me that was broken. So personally, I don't think that they handled it very well. When I said that I didn't agree with the way that they were doing things, when I didn't agree with their customer services, they basically said, um, "Sorry to hear that, and we appreciate your opinion." Like, hello. I basically, the way I kind of think of it now is that Kelly Cosmetics makes so much money that what does one customer's bad opinion matter to it? What's it matter? So I thought I would come on here and share my story with you and then also do a review of the actual palette. So that's my bad experience with their customer services. I think it absolutely sucks. They don't really care about their customers because they make so much money. So what does it matter if one customer is unhappy that's the kind of impression that i got so i'm now going to run you through the actual palette and then show you the demo and then of course my final thoughts on it so hopefully you enjoy this video and keep watching if you want to find out more about the kai shadow palette okay so i'm going to just get started into the tutorial um by turning my phone on silent so these are the colors as you can see, I'm going to try to 
focus it. That is the way that shadow came, the condition it came in. The orange actually has a slight um a slight smudge as well, but this is like a proper indent and that's the um that is the shadow that I was complaining about on uh, their customer services and again as I said at the start of the video they did not handle it very well in my opinion. So this is the palette. It is tiny like if you can see it's like the size of my hand. It's so tiny I was not expecting that. But anyway let's get into the video and my first impressions. So I'm going to take the orange colour in the middle as my transition on a big fluffy blending brush. Uh, quite a lot of fallout just even tapping it on um, should have got a mirror closer so just packed it onto the brush and again it is quite messy it's like kind of chalky um, but sometimes so is the makeup gig shadow so sometimes that means that they um, actually are a wee bit better quality like bit more pigmented so I'm just running this through my crease I love a warm crease, hopefully you can see. I love a really warm crease. It has went on very pigmented and it's actually blended out quite nice. Um, and I'm just going to try to build that up. Just like that. And I don't know if you guys can see but there is quite a lot of fallout when you push the brush in it, but then it does pick a lot up, so kind of pros and cons to everything. So at the minute it is blending in really, really nicely, I have to say. Like, really, really impressed with how well this is blending. And again, they, they are kind of the texture of the Makeup Geek shadows. Like, they are a wee bit chalky when... um your first apply like taking them out of the palette but they do actually apply really really nicely so I'm going for quite a strong transition colour because I'm going to go really nice and smoky so I'm just applying this I'll do underneath after but for now this is what I'm going for I hope you can see okay um, so yeah that's the first colour then I'm going to go into the damaged one in the corner with um, just like a medium sized kind of blending brush. Again, very chalky but it does mean that it is quite pigmented. So I'm just doing this on the outer corner. It's just like a really nice warm brown. Because they are a wee bit like flaky, you have to be very controlled on where you're putting these because I set this down and kind of flicked the brush and it went a wee bit further than what I wanted, but that's okay. We can just make it like extra smoky. I'm kind of glad of how this is going so well at the minute because I really was very disappointed with their customer services and I was kind of not having big hopes for the palette considering their customer services was so poor. Um, but so far, I think it's actually turned... The shadows are really, really nice quality. Hopefully I'm doing an okay job showing you because I have not filmed makeup in so long. And then I'm just going back to my blending brush and blending out all the corners into my transition colour. If you need to at this stage you can pick up a wee bit more of your orangey shade, your transition and just put it back in just to build up the warmness again but I don't think I massively need to but sure we'll do it for the video anyway. Hopefully I'm not going in and out of focus too much. I'm just going back in with the warm brown shade and just intensifying that again because we did lose some when we were blending out. Just like that. If you are okay seeing that. Now I'm going to go in again. I don't know if you can see how messy each shadow gets. I'm going to go in with the dark brown 
Um, I'm not going to go in with a black, I don't think, today, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to go in with a dark brown with like an even smaller kind of fluffy brush and just get a good bit onto the brush. With shadows that are a wee bit more chalky and like a wee bit more messy, I do always tap it off just to get the extra um, shadow off the brush. And I'm just concentrating this on the outer corner because I am going to wear a winged liner today like I always do. And I always like to connect it with a darker shadow. This is kind of like my everyday look, but it may be someone's like very dramatic look. It just depends what you're used to wearing. So I'm quite happy with how dark that is. So I'm going to go back up my brushes. So I'm going to get my medium brush, a wee bit more of the uh, warm brown and kind of blend that into that darker colour. Just so we don't lose any of the warmth. And then back up again with my big brush with nothing else on it and just blend the edges. Okay, so now I have two choices. I'm either going to go in with this really light colour or this shimmery colour. Let me just swatch. Very chalky. Um, okay, so the shimmery colour isn't massively shimmery, so I'm not going to go in with that. I am going to go in with this kind of whitish creamy colour. And I'm just going to get a flat top brush, pack it onto the brush. Again, it's very chalky. And pack this on to kind of the inner third. Oh, it's really pigmented. Like, can you see that? Wow. Like, major pigmented. I'm actually really impressed with that. Like, can you see that? Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the medium brown again. The warm brown. And to blend out that line, I'm just going to kind of press along it. I'm not really going to blend. I'm just kind of pressing just to blend that line out between the white and the, the brown. Just like that. I have to say, everything is blending out so nice. I'm just going to get the, my big powder brush and just kind of blend around the corners. Like, these have blended on so nice. I don't even know if this is showing up, like, how nice this really, really is blended. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do the bottom then. Um, for the bottom, I'm going to get the... The orangey tone... And blend it right underneath just with a big fluffy brush. I like to bring this down quite a lot now. I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised at how nice this palette is because I did not have high hopes, as I was saying, with the customer services and stuff like that. And I have heard a few mixed reviews on this palette. I think about the price and stuff, but Fair enough, the packaging really does not relate to the price, but the shadows definitely do. Like that has blended out so nice. So I'm going to get the medium warm brown with my medium brush and just concentrate this more on the outer corners. So I am really digging this look. I think it's so nice and smoky and warm. I have been loving warm looks lately. So now I'm actually going to deepen the outer corner on the bottom a wee bit more with a smaller um, kind of pencil buffing brush with a dark brown. Really, really tap this off because I don't want this to be majorly dark. And look right up and kind of connect that to the outer corner. But keep this in the outer corner. Don't bring this in much more. So just like that. And then just get your big blending brush and blend everything out. I really hope that's been in focus this whole time. And then for the highlight, I'm just going to get 
the white cream shadow and just press this underneath my brow. I've been really liking um, a nice bright highlight lately so this is actually a really nice one to use. And then again with your big fluff, fluffy blending brush, that's a handful, or a mouthful, um, just blending that out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off and do my eyeliner and do my mascara and come back with my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back with my lips and my liner and my mascara done and I am actually digging this look. Like, this is kind of my perfect warm smoky look. I wear this kind of every day, but I mean... I'm sure it is a lot to some people, but this is the kind of look that I go for on an everyday. I am going to zoom you in now. And you can kind of see the look that I went for. Just like a nice smoky look with a bright inner corner. So yeah, overall, I'm actually really, really impressed with this wee small tiny palette. Um, again, the shadows are kind of like average shadow size, so it's not like... Just because it's small doesn't mean that you're not getting small shadows, if that makes sense. And um, the quality is of the shadows is really, really nice. Although I was disappointed that this was cardboard and it kind of looks a wee bit cheap. Um, well, bar the eyes in the front. I do actually really like this palette. I probably will use it more on an everyday basis now that I have finally tried it out. Because it has been sitting in my room for about a week and a half. So I am really glad that I got to try this out and I will be using it more often. So hopefully you like this look and you like my review. Their customer service absolutely sucks. I really don't agree with how that they process things, but that's up to them as a company. They make enough money, so they probably don't really care about their customers very much. Um, but she makes really good, good eyeshadow, so that's all that really matters um, that I ended up with a good eyeshadow palette even though there is a chip out of one of the colours. So yeah, hopefully you like this video and if you want any more reviews or first impressions please let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up this video because it really really helps me out and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!